Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hi, everybody. So today we are going to be starting a new series. It's a short series, but we hope to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to, basically, I've taken 15 of the most valuable bottles that I have, and we're going to do five-way blinds and see what happens. What do you got going on, Jamie, over there? I am having some Knob Creek smoked maple. So yeah, so we pulled out 15 of the most valuable bottles I have. They weren't necessarily the most expensive or what I spent the most money on because a lot of them I got them for retail or I got uh, I got hookups from friends or supporters of the channel who helped me get things uh, barely above uh, barely above MSRP. So we have some Weller stuff over there, some expensive Jack Daniels, old Carters, some spe special Michters, Russell's Reserve 13, some Stag Jr., uh, some of the Wild Turkey Masters Keeps, Elijah Craig 18. There's a bunch of stuff over there. So Jamie's just going to set up the double blind for us. And we're going to just figure out of the most valuable bottles I have, what are the best ones? And it's blind. And I'm kind of excited for this because Wait, it's something new. Are those bottles more valuable than I am? Um, You mean, can I factor love oh, into no. it? Ooh. It's a good bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Knob Creek Smoked Maple, it, they're not playing around with that one. That's actually a pretty good uh, maple whiskey. This one has that, um, like you're eating some maple bacon because mm -hmm. it has that smoked. Yeah, a little bit of the salty smokiness to it. Mm. Are we ready to go? Do you need any help mm -hmm. from me? Nope. All right. Let me uh, get out of here. Yep. See ya. No listening or peeking. Weller, the original weeded bourbon, aged 12 years. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Decades. Blanton's The Original Single Barrel Bourbon Whiskey. Stag Junior Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We have Shanks Kentucky Sour Mash Whiskey. Ooh, that was so close. <laughs> It's gonna get mad at me because these are not budget bourbons and <laughs> I almost spilled them. Unlike the bourbon, um, the budget bourbons, I actually recognize a lot of these. And you all know we love giving away some Blantons. And we've got Elijah Craig Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right, I need a drink to that. I literally broke a bottle. There's a little piece of cork on the table. What happened? I accidentally ate some cork instead of a cracker. You know, when you pull the corks off the top of bottles, Jamie, you're supposed to not try to eat them. <laughs> I really don't know what happened with that one. Oh, it's okay. At least it, 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 the only, the funniest part about it is that it happened in like the most expensive bottles I have. Video. That's what I said. And not I was like, like, why couldn't have it been like one of the budget bourbons? I'd have been like, oh, $23, you know, whatever. Sorry. Now I'm going to drink every drop of every glass because This I, is not funny anymore. This has gotten stressful. Yeah. This I need a drink. I need a drink. At least I get to look forward to drinking like really good bourbons after all this. Yeah. So when I took the bottle upstairs with the, what was left of the cork in the bottle and I tried to use a wine cork thing to pull it out mm -hmm. and it just crumbled. Like it was, it literally just crumbled to pieces. So the nose on this one, there's like this nice herbalness and then like a little bit of kind of a butterscotch and, and caramel, like a really dark caramel. You can tell it's an expensive one, mm -hmm. but there's a little bit of almost kind of a a berry, like a red berry on the nose as well. It smells really good. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna smell it too. Ooh. So this one tastes like it's got a little bit of proof on it. A little bit of a little little higher proof on this one. It does have a really, really nice berryness, but I'm also picking up some pear. And it's very, very spicy, very herbal. But I'm picking up some some fruit notes that it, it could be like Buffalo Trace, something Buffalo Trace, where it's getting some some of that, uh, you know, with stag and sometimes um, 
like E.H. Taylor, you, you get some, and, and even Eagle Rare, you get some of those like berry notes. To me, this is kind of reminds me of some of that. Well, we broke the cork on that one too. This one? Yeah, remember? Oh, you broke. You told me. I you did. I you broke admitted that one. to that. I one. didn't shatter it into a thousand pieces <laughs> like and destroy I did. it. I, I, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> yes. That's light. Very, uh, like it has a faint floral note. Yeah, there's a bit of floral. Good job on that, by the Whoa. way. Whoa. Wow, Jamie. Yeah, pat yourself on the back. It's mm. got this really nice dark, dark caramel and this really nice vanilla on there, too. It's got a really, it's not super sweet smelling, but it's got a really nice balance between the floral and then the, the, the caramel and the sweet vanilla. Yeah, I hope I'm, I hope that one's good because I kind of, after you described it, I kind of want to taste that one. Okay, that tastes very, very raspberry. Really? Yeah. There's like this really kind of almost raspberry and sugar, getting almost a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a caramel there as well underneath all mm. that. Yeah, I'm getting getting a, a, a bit of an herbalness, a touch of clove, a mm. little bit of floral, but underneath that, I'm getting this really kind of creamy caramel. Mm -mm, I didn't get that. And then a little bit of a barrel oak. This one might be a hair on the older side. We'll see. Mm. A lot of these are going to be older anyway. So this one smells like a man's bourbon. It smells really good. <laughs> I didn't think so. I've smelled manlier bur <laughs> bourbons too <laughs> before in this whole journey, but yeah, okay, this has a lot of leather and tobacco. This one tastes quite a bit older. Nice sweetness to it, but it's got a little bit of a tannic bitterness toward the end. So I definitely think it's on the older side of things. The proof doesn't seem particularly high. It's nice Can and I smooth. Can look at the number? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I gave you a hair too. What happens when the bartender puts hair in your bourbon? <laughs> you get a refund. All right, the nose on this, it almost smells weeded to me. Let me smell. There's a little bit of a wheat characteristic. It's nice and sweet and mellow. It's got a nice little bit of a fiery, like peppery spice to it. And then some good herbalness as well. So is it the proof or is it the pepper? Like there's a, a there's a pepper on this one. So there's really okay. Yeah, there's definitely kind of a little bit of a pepperiness. Hmm. It's it's nice and sweet, but it's very kind of faint. The sweetness is very faint. I'm getting a nice like red berry on this. And it's got this a little bit of a vanilla, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of honey. It's pretty good. The, at first, that barrel tannin was was a little strong, mm -hmm. but it's kind of mellowed, and it's it's actually a lot better. It was like the second sip was better than the first one. This one smells like car caramelized bananas. If you've ever gone to like a Brazilian restaurant and you've had like the little the banana fried bananas fried. with, with cinnamon that. and sugar on, that sounds really good. This reminds me of that. Smell that. Oh wow! Yeah, that sounds really good. That one I want to taste. A little bit of an herbalness. No, you don't get this one. It's too valuable. Mm -hmm. So on the palate, this one doesn't taste like caramelized bananas. <laughs> Darn. I mean, it's good. It's really, really good. It's got a nice kind of, a, a very kind of a nice baking spice herbalness. And it's it's really well balanced with like the very kind of honey and caramel sweetness there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a touch of banana ever so faint on the palate, but it's not strong. Like it was on the nose. On the nose, it just leapt out that mm -hmm. that caramelized, like uh, fried banana kind of thing. This is really, really nice. It's got a fantastic mouth coat. So one thing I didn't talk about the mouth coats on any of these. For the most part, they all were amazing drinking experiences. They had mm -hmm. great mouth coats, great great mouth coats, great finishes. They had good flavor profiles. So it's like you know, I'm kind of taking the best of the best, and mm -hmm. I'm stacking them side by side, and I'm nitpicking them to death. Right. That must be hard because they yeah. are all probably decent. Are you going to bottle kill that right now? I don't know. Should do it. I? Yeah, do it right now. I'm kind of sad to camera. see this one go. Nope, my, kill it. my top two that I love so much like are bottle killed and yep. not sure. Finish it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, she did it. What do I do with it now? Don't I like now you have throw to it smash in the air it. or something? Yeah, you got to smash it against it? the wall. <laughs> no, not here. Not here. <laughs> 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 it's like... Between the bottles on this side, equipment on that side, <laughs> she's not allowed to smash a bottle against the wall. These are some really, really good bourbons. We're I've gone through them all. I've described them. I've tasted them. I've smelled them. Uh, Going to go through, rank them, and we come back, we'll put them on pedestals. Let's see how this goes. Number five. Number four. Three. Really? Yep. Two. Is it's it really sweet? good. It was just sweet. Too sweet. You it don't love little, the sweet as I much like as I like it. I like the sweet, but it had a little more, too much peanut butter. 
So the peanut butter was a little strong. The sweetness Which was a little strong. What you got against peanut butter? Well, when you're talking about, you know, this level of bourbon, you're talking about the best of the best. Mm -hmm. These are all really fantastic bourbons. Like these, I'm extremely excited for this group. I don't know what you picked. Tonight was a good night. Huh? Tonight was a good night. It makes up for all of the other nonsense going on. I just can't believe I'm drinking the last. We're going to Vermont to do some maple Metcalf hunting. I got I got people. I got people that will will I can Ke wait, bribe. Wait, where's Keith? Keith's in New York. So that is oh. Escobar. We got to talk to Escobar. Escobar, my man. So this is the outcome. Okay. So this one was in fifth because it was just a little bit more on the herbally spicy side and less well balanced. Mm -hmm. This one similar to that, but not quite as bad. This one, even though it was really sweet and creamy and, and delicious, it mm -hmm. was a little on the. Um, at first, when we first had it, didn't we call say it? Was, didn't I say it was like really tannic tasting at first? Mm -hmm. After the first sip, when I went back and forth with them, that was gone, and it was wow. all just like sweet cream, vanillas, yeah. peanut butter, like a little bit of berry, like a strawberry as well. It wow. was really, it was really good. Really good. I'm interested in that one. Yeah, this one was very, very solid, very red berry forward, but very well balanced. A nice proof. Nice balance of herbalness and everything else. So it was fantastic. This one was the best balance. These are all so good. I just went and took the taste of the fourth one and I was like, holy crap. This thing <laughs> this is, is so hard. good. This is like the hardest one. Like it's one my fourth had. place one and I'm like, oh my God, that one's so delicious. <laughs> I think this is the outcome. I'm not confident in this at all. I really? Kind of think, you think I love Blanton's? I don't yeah. think it's Blanton's. See, I think that this is my- I've tried Blanton's before. I'm well, true, sure. but you're maturing as a bourbon lover. And your tastes are changing and you're getting more... I'm getting that hair on my chest. Oh my God, please don't. In fifth place is number four. No. Stago. No. Okay, number five. What's number five? Not this one. It's got to be Weller. Nope. Oh, wow. Oh, mother. What the You, fudge? you... Five, you, Shanks. Are you hurting now? Are you kind of feeling bad? Dude, this is jacked up. You're, they're all valuable I'm not, I'm not, bourbon. I'm not going to air this video. I'm I'm canceling this episode of Whiskey Row. <laughs> Third place is number two. Please be Blanton's. Right here. Nope. No, baby. Wait, really? I love Elijah Craig. Yeah, Elijah Craig 18 year. Okay. Well, Have I... a pour because I don't love that one as much. Really? I love the aftertaste. I was like, whoa, that is amazing. Elijah no. Craig, I'm really feeling it. What in the holy hell? What is it doing to my mouth, the aftertaste? Ooh, where have you been hiding, Elijah? What the hell? <laughs> Are you sure you poured these right? I'm positive. You can go back on the video and watch. I'm excited about this guy right here. So which one would you have preferred to be in the top? one shanks and stag my fourth and fifth i would have normally thought they would have been first and second this has an this amazing group. aftertaste it really does this has actually become really good i'm gonna blame it on my lunch my lunch Ooh. i had a lot of uh a lot of, of spicy food at lunch so mm -mm. that's kind of destroyed my palate i'm gonna blame it on that why and... not embrace your uh your choices. Well, because other times when I've had Weller 12 by itself, mm -hmm. I didn't like it. Like, it wasn't that good. So that's the outcome tonight. Sometimes in blinds, things happen. And in a particular day, you like something better than others. And that's okay. It's a learning and growing experience here on Whiskey Row. I mean, the Weller 12 is still actually a pretty good bottle. It's not, like, amazing. I'd much rather have it in a poor man's pappy than by itself. We learn and we grow as bourbon lovers and as maple bourbon lovers. I feel like I'm growing. You are. I'm very, I can't believe that you like this Elijah Craig. Well, no, it's the after, like, I just still have it on my palate. It's just, like, amazing. I know, but I would have never in this world, like, said, oh, Jamie's going to like Elijah Craig 18, because that is bonkers to me. All that said, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this train wreck of an episode, <laughs> smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, find, find a, a bottle, bottle you love. love. Come on, stretch out that head. Oh, your hands are so freaking cold. I know, because it's oh, so cold. Oh, stop. Your hands are cold. <laughs> Says you've been holding a cold cup. <laughs> no, You'll you have to, to work off a $600 bottle. The, the whiskey the, the, is still good. Well, the bottle's worth zero now because the cork's broken.
Yeah, but why? Uh. A little bit of kind of a dusty barrel, very faint dusty barrel. Got some cedar to it. No, there's no cedar in it. You're making stuff up. <laughs> a brick fell from the ceiling and hit the bottle, and then it went. Nope, nope, not even. I, 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 I'm so lucky I came out alive. <laughs> Why didn't you sacrifice your body for the bottle? You could have gone over it. <laughs> I know, right? It. I know. I mean, you heal, the bottle doesn't. <laughs>